Gandalf have told us. This April, the BBC Trust censured Middle East correspondent Jeremy Bowen for comments he made on the BBC website about the history of the conflict. We can reveal that a week earlier, the Jewish Chronicle published a piece by Bowen which included exactly the same phrases. You can still read them on the Jewish Chronicle website. For Camera, the American-based media watchdog which earlier had complained about The Guardian, this time formally complained to the BBC. Then a London lawyer complained. The BBC was forced to investigate. The BBC investigated Jeremy Bowen um, because they were under such extraordinary pressure. The way that that investigation was perceived by Bowen's colleagues, if you like, in the BBC was that this was management hoping with one bound to be free from what was very, very intensive pressure but it struck a chill through the actual BBC newsroom because it signalled to them that they were under assault. Do you think the BBC would have carried out that investigation into Bowen but for this Israeli pressure which you've been talking about? No, of course they wouldn't have done. Veteran BBC presenter Jonathan Dimbleby thought the BBC had caved in. Not only has Bowen's hard-won reputation been solid, but the BBC's international status as the best source of trustworthy news in the world has been gratuitously undermined. When we approached Dimbleby, he refused to take part in this programme. We can reveal that he too is now under investigation for making the above comments. The BBC Trust sent a representative to Oxford to question Professor Schleim about the accuracy of Jeremy Bowen's piece. I couldn't fault him. I didn't see where he had, been, had gone wrong. And my conclusions from this affair is that there are some people uh, in the Jewish community in Britain who uh, listen to the news, monitor the news, and are too quick to start protesting to the BBC. Their complaints are usually unjustified. It was time to find out who Honest Reporting UK is, who funds it, and who it represents. First surprise, its office is not in Britain, but here in Jerusalem. Its managing editor, Simon Plosker, who is British, admits he worked for Bicom in London and also for the Israel Army Press Office. Hi, is this Honest Reporting? Yes, it is. Uh, Peter Oberon from Channel 4 Television. 